up with in exercise one. We're still busy with the winter rainfall in Pretoria over the years 2007 up to 2009. Okay, a new functionality now that I've added is that the user can now enter another month's data. So they must give the name of the month and it will appear as a header of a new row. And then they must give the rainfall as well over those three years when the um, ad is clicked. Um, of course, you do not need these numeric up-downs to enter data into your data grid view. You can just run the program and then um, enter the data. Um, but are they, I want you to, to see how to enter data from a control into the data grid as well. So that's what we're now going to do. Right. Um, I'm starting off with making sure that the user actually um, entered something. So if they forgot, I just say please enter a month. Right. Else, let's say they did not forget, then we can start the program. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a row. Okay, no. Um, um, they are, um, they, you, we should add a row, but I'm not going to do it in the first try, just to show you why we have to do it. So let's say that there is anyway always a, a default row unless you set it differently. So that's the row in which this new uh, thing will be added. Um, we want to give the row a heading. So for that we say data grid view rainfall um, rows data grid view rain for rows dot count minus one um, header cell value must be equal to this um, text month dot text. Okay, just a explanation. Why did I say data grid view rain for rows count minus one? Now um we have at this stage three rows with data in it, but there are actually four rows. Um, so the new row or the new data will be entered in the fourth row, which has index one. So that's why it's four minus one. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is to um, assign the entered data into the grid. So the first one, data grid view rainfall. Um, so it is the zeroth column and the index is the same as this. This is now the row that we're busy with for the row. So I just and then it is that specific position, the value I set to the value inside the numeric up down of 2007. Okay, and this is what I have to repeat. I'm just cut and paste. And another time. Um, okay, but now it's, it's the first column and the second column. Oh, no, 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 not the second column, the column with index 2. This is now numeric up down 2008, and that is numeric up down 2009. The last thing we have to do is um, to clear the text box and the numeric up-downs. So clear the controls such that the user can enter another month if they want to. Okay, so um, we said text month.clear um, numeric up-down 2007 dot value equals zero numeric up down two thousand and eight dot value equals zero and numeric up down two thousand and nine value equals zero. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Alright, we're running the program. Um, the user gives us now a name, let's say August, and they give us a rainfall, something like that, and add it. Alright. 
Nice. Now the user gives us another month. I want to add another month. Maybe um, September. Although it's not really winter anymore by that time, but just for argument's sake. Look at what happens now. It's not adding another row. It's overwriting the row August. And that's not what we want. So we need to change our program a bit. Before you give the, the row uh, a heading, you must first add a row. So each time a new row must be added. So data grid view rainfall. Um, rows dot add. Now if that is the case, then this value is going to change. So now we have one more row. So the row that we're interested in is actually now the number of rows minus two. Okay, let's see if this now works. Okay, so the user is going to give us all best. Row is added. Can you see what happens there? Immediately there is another row available. Otherwise you would have used that row over and over again. You use the default row over and over again. You don't want to do that. So September. So let's say that's what it was in September and so on. So now that is what we want.